Hello everyone, uh, here in this video I want to talk about this thread I came across over on the How to Learn Any Language. Um, I don't know, I was kind of surprised when I uh, saw this thread, so I decided to read over the stuff, make a video on it, and give my opinions about it. Uh, anyway, the title of this thread is uh, Legend of Professor Argoyles. Legend of Pro Professor Argoyles, okay. This guy, Brother Jay, makes this thread talking about... Um, you know he he's a skeptic of uh, Professor Argwell's uh, achievements. Okay, I'm gonna go on. Let me go ahead and read this first this first post here. I got into a discussion with a gentleman by the name of Sebastian at Lean Q. I have decided to continue it on this forum in hopes of satisfying my query. Rather than rehash the details, I will provide the actual conversation. Let me start from. Let me state. Let me what? Let me start from the. Oh, let me state from the start that I'm sure that the professor is, is, is as good as everyone says. I'm sure that I stink at languages. I'm sure that some will perceive my lack of access to what I request as me being negative. Uh, I'm also sure that my question is reasonable one despite the feelings that might surface. I'm curious to see the responses I get. Alright, I'm sure this comment will come off of as negative, but for me it is, an, it, is an, it is the elephant in the room. Other than the video of him shadowing a text, has anybody ever heard this guy speak all these of these languages all of the videos that I have seen are him speaking flawless English about a program or about what one should do maybe I just haven't seen the videos uh, I like the fact that Steve gives advice but then offers evidence that he speaks all of the languages I was excited to see that Steve has given the professor so much credit finally I get to see what the legendary professor is really about huh another video of him t talking in English can you buy can anybody point point me to the videos that show him speaking several languages fluently? I haven't been able to find them. Uh, if you watch his YouTube channel, you can see him reading lots of his languages. I don't speak all of the, the languages, but and I can say, for example, that his German is nearly perfect, just a bit overpronounced, and his pronunciation of Middle High German also is quite good. Even even he makes a few similar mistakes or smaller mistakes. Sorry. Uh, somewhere I heard him reading Russian, also with a very good pronunciation. Of course, this this is no proof for fluency in, in in his languages, but based on all the hints he gave in the How to Learn New Language forum, all of his videos on the YouTube channel, and his other appearances, I'm sure that all what he claims is true, and that he is no cheater. Like, for example, okay, there is no doubt in my mind that Steve Kaufman can speak several languages fluently. This is the reason that this website has credibility. I agree with you Sebastian, I'm pulling you into this. Reading German and offering language, t uh, language tips on the forum doesn't imply spoken fluency in Arabic, Russian, Mandarin. When the most proficient online linguist that I know of crowns the professor of the Tiger Woods of Languages, then I want to see him hit a couple golf balls. Is that me being negative or practical? I mean, Steve is good. This guy is light years better. This guy is light years better, better according to Steve. Aren't you guys at least be curious about how good he really is? Let me state for the record that I stink when it comes to languages. Maybe that makes me all more skeptical. My my suckiness aside, aside uh, doesn't change the fact that I have no visual evidence. I'm sure the professor will promptly make a video where he speaks so many languages that I will retreat back to my cave of mediocrity. Maybe that uh, video already exists. Maybe Steve has it. Until then, the, uh, the skeptical elephant will continue to tap me on the shoulder. All right. So first of all, I want to say that I'm a, a very big supporter of uh, Professor Argwell's. Uh, before I started posting videos on YouTube, I did a search on you know polyglots, uh, linguists speaking these different languages, and when I first came across his page, I was very impressed. I was very impressed. Uh, despite despite the fact that he hasn't made several videos of him speaking the language fluently, I was still impressed with him as an individual because the language because of the language he studies and his uh, his passion and effort in the study of those languages. That's why I subscribed to his page. Now, um, you know, this guy says that uh, you know he tries to. It seems to me that he's trying to find something to discredit the professor. And what I don't understand is people like this they only speak like two different languages now I'm not bashing you okay if if you want to just study Spanish that's fine if you're not into studying multiple languages that's fine but what I don't understand is people like you who are just learning a couple languages want to find someone um, 
who is uh, more successful at learning foreign languages and try to discredit them in some sort of way. I don't get that. I think I talked about this uh, the other day about uh, language key or um, keyboard masters. These people don't have anything else to do. Okay, they're not. They don't have anything good going on for them. They don't have, as far as you know, being popular on YouTube or whatever it is. So they want to try to find some. Um, they want to go around and try to find people who are successful and find something to um, pick at them at. Pick at them with, but pick at them about. Okay. And um, if he doesn't want to make videos speaking in several different languages, he, he doesn't have to make uh, several videos speaking different languages. He doesn't have to do that. Whoever said, who, who said anyone has to do something like that? I mean, he doesn't have to do that. And, and you know, personally, I've spoken to Professor, um, you know, on Skype, voice chat. And uh, I can honestly say this guy, his, his Korean is very good, excellent. His Arabic is very good. Uh, his Russian is very good. I mean, he the, he definitely he's definitely proficient in those languages. Okay, just to let you know. All right. Now, obviously, his Spanish, German, and other languages are just as good as his Arabic or you know Russian or whatnot. So, um, yeah, I I don't see why you have a doubt about this guy. Now, if you know there may be some other perhaps there's some other language that he speaks better than. You know, and there's some other language he, you know, perhaps he just want to learn how to read. He's just reading. He's into reading and literature. That's fine. You know, like I said before, and like Steve Kaufman said before, everyone has their own goals. Okay, if this guy just wants to be into literature and want to read, that's his. That's that's his. Uh, that's his prerogative. He can do that. He can do what he wants to do. Okay, so, um, yeah. Who? Yeah. So, I mean, it's like. Uh, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Okay. I, I, I mean, why? Why would you make a thread like this? I mean, this this thread was unnecessary. I believe it was unnecessary. Okay. So he says, "No, you're right to question the, val the, uh, va the validity of his claims. I do too. Skepticism is the def default mindset of any intelligent person." I was told that. I was told that Richard Simcoe had spoken with the professor for an hour. In multiple languages and say that the professor is very good I agree that it would be nice to have a video where the professor speaks in a few languages language spontaneously so that we can see at least some evidence of his usage of some uh, of the language he speaks I don't care if he never creates such a video it would just be nice he might feel too self-conscious about doing it or maybe he considers such videos as showing off as if showing off your high degree of talent a little is a bad thing I don't see people calling dancers actually oh, okay but yeah, anyway, um, you know, Professor, he's uh, he doesn't have to make videos in multiple languages. I mean, he doesn't have to. If he wants to, I mean, fine. He can go ahead and make you know languages and languages uh, videos in the multiple languages he speak. But uh, I want to say that um, I'm a big supporter of uh, Professor R. Wells and um, and Steve Kaufman because you know it's very rare to. It's, it's very rare to come across, you know, polyglots, you know, many languages, you know, they give advice, they're giving advice to other language learners, especially beginners. Beginners don't know how to begin on a language. You know, these guys offer advice, you know, and they, um, <clears throat> and then they, I, the, the advice has been beneficial to a lot of people. And I believe that we need more people like these on YouTube. We don't need more people just getting on YouTube speaking in multiple languages, and that's it. Okay. Now, am I saying that's a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to get on YouTube and speak in multiple languages. But I feel that whenever, whenever, um, whenever someone can benefit, whenever it's beneficial. Like if you watch any of my videos where I talk about languages, I give advice. If you feel that my videos have benefited, has benefits you in some way, I think that's excellent. That's that's better than speaking in multiple languages on the internet. Okay, on YouTube, that's the, that's better than that. And you know, we need more people like this. We need more people to get on YouTube and to help others, especially beginners, help them, uh, show them the way on how to begin learning language. Because you know, to them, you know, they it's very it's it, it's a it's you know it's amazing to see um, other people speak more than five different languages and have this you know have this uh, you have this drive for learning all these languages. So. We need we need more people like that. So I'm 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 very appreciative of having Professor Argwells here on this forum, 
and making videos. So if he doesn't want to make videos of him speaking in multiple languages, that's his business. If he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't have to. Okay. So um, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I just feel that this thread, this guy wasted his time making this thread because he, you know, I mean, come on, come on, man. I don't, I don't feel this. This it was. It, I don't. I feel. I don't feel it was necessary to make this thread. Basically. So that's pretty much it. That's all I want to say about this thread. And, um, you know, uh, like I said, Professor R. Wells, you know, he, he, uh, you know, he, he, he's, he's achieved a lot. And, um, I don't, I don't, I don't believe he deserves to have to be criticized the way this guy is criticizing him. So, uh, this will conclude this video and, um, let me know what you guys think.